Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Tuesday, January 17th. It is the 17th day of the year. There are 348 days left. Happy National Kid Inventors Day! National Kid Inventors Day is celebrated on January 17th every year. This day celebrates the creativity and ingenuity of young people all around the world. You would be surprised to know how so many of the things that we use every day have been made by kid inventors. Kids have invented all sorts of things that have become common fixtures in our life. This includes earmuffs, popsicles, trampolines, braille, and even the television. However, Kid Inventors Day in particular celebrates the extraordinary life of Benjamin Franklin, one of the earliest known kid inventors. He invented swim flippers at the mere age of 12. January 17th was chosen as Kid Inventors Day since it is also the birth anniversary of the respected polymath politician and child inventor, Benjamin Franklin. He is a great model for every child after all, children are naturally curious and creative. Franklin wasn't the only kid inventor, and he isn't the last. Over the years, other children have invented many things that we continue to use today. Lewis Braille, who was blinded at the age of three, invented the Braille system in 1824. And Frank Epperson invented popsicles at the age of 11. George Nissen and Larry Griswold invented the first trampoline in 1935. Kid Inventors Day is the perfect day to visit a museum, bounce ideas off of your friends, or participate in a fun project. Today is also Printing Ink Day, Customer Service Day, Cable Car Day, and Benjamin Franklin Day. Okay, National Dares, this one is challenging, but so cool. You'll need cardboard, a ruler, scissors, a pencil, masking tape, brad fasteners, a rubber band, and string. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut two strips about two inches wide of cardboard, probably at least 12 inches long. And then you wanna tape those together, overlapping them a little bit. This is going to be the handle. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut four strips of cardboard about one and a half inches wide and 10 inches long. And if you need help from an adult, ask for it because cardboard is kind of hard to cut. And fold it in half and put it over the end of the handle and tape it down. Next, you're going to poke holes in your cardboard. Two other long ones, you'll poke a hole in the middle of each and then a hole at one end of each piece. So for some reason, my camera stopped recording and just automatically jumped to the finished product. So I'm gonna do my best to walk you through the next steps. Bear with me, here we go. I've also included a link down below to the YouTube video where I learned how to do this since my video didn't work very well. And then the fourth strip of cardboard you're going to cut in half. So it's five inches by one and a half inches with two pieces. And then on the two shorter pieces, you wanna poke holes in both ends of both pieces. Next, you're going to take the two long pieces and poke your brad through the center hole of both and then through the end of the handle that you just poked a hole in. And then flip it over and fold the pieces of the brad out and tape them down so they don't come undone. And then you're going to take one of each of the shorter pieces and attach it to the end of the two long pieces you just attached, just like this. And then attach the other end of the two shorter cardboard pieces together. Again, every time, flip it over, open the brad, and then tape it down so it stays closed. Next, you're going to take a rubber band and you're going to connect it to the two brads 
that run down the center of the grabber. And this is kind of hard, so kind of stretch it out and slide it underneath the brad at one end and then flip it over and do it at the other end. And then you want to tie your string around the bottom brad of the articulating arm, the piece that's not connected to the handle. And then as you'll see when you pull the string, the grabber will open and close. Now this is as far as I can take you with this craft because you have to invent, right? It's Kids Inventor Day. So now you come up with how you can make the most effective grabber. Do you want to use more cardboard? Do you think maybe a sponge or something that has like a rubber mat? How are you going to make your grabber the best grabber ever? It's Kids Inventor Day. I can't wait to see what you dream up. This one was challenging, but I know my National Dayers can do it. Let's get going. Okay, National Dayers. Well, as inventors, sometimes we have to roll with the things that don't work like a broken camera. Am I right? So I'm very proud of this. I'm already thinking of ways that I'm going to make it differently. I'm gonna use something a little thicker here, like maybe some paint stick stirrers or paint stirrer sticks, you know, those things you stir paint with. And then I was thinking maybe I'll put like some sponge or foam or something on the end of these to make these more grabby, but dude, check this thing out. We're pretty cool. I'm excited to go do some more inventing. You should go do some more inventing as well. Keep smiling, have a terrific Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.